Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face using products under £10, including some new products from my brand. So if you don't know, I have makeupbytammy.com, which I sell lashes on and I have new packaging, new styles, which I will introduce you to in this video, but also super excited to introduce my new crystal brush sets, guys. We have the eye sets and also the full face sets, which I will get into. I'll show you in a minute, but I'm I'm so proud of these it's been so long actually let me go ahead and show you them now let's jump into them since I'm gonna be doing a full face using these brushes so let's start off with the face so in here you get of course the bag that says makeup by Tammy on it and it's holographic you get 10 brushes four face brushes and six eye brushes and this is what they look like so this is the crystal clear collection and of course it is like a crystal type of design and then these are the bristles how do I hold this so you guys can see the full effect how pretty are they but also the softness I wish you guys could feel it through the screen. They're so soft and they are embedded, embossed, ingrained with my logo on the handle right there. Let me give you guys a close up. So this is the brush close up. Hope you guys can see my logo there and how gorgeous this crystal design is. And like I said, this is the crystal clear set. So it is like see-through holographic type of design. And then this is the brush right here really soft i wish you guys could feel how soft but it's not scratchy it's synthetic cruelty free and vegan and i tried a lot of synthetic brushes to find my perfect set because they are private label guys of course i don't have the budget yet hopefully one day my brand can grow but i don't have the br the budget to customize my own brushes but for now i just sent like loads of samples to my house of different types of brush sets that i like the look of and these are the ones that i decided to go with because they just came out the softest and also the prettiest so yeah in this set you get 10 brushes like I said four face brushes you get the large powder brush the blush or bronzer brush which is like an angled brush the flat top foundation brush which I love for applying foundation these are new ones that I've pulled out of course because my used ones were not gonna look super pretty for this announcement video and then we have this kind of round top buffing brush which I personally like to use to dust powder underneath my eyes or blend out my concealer underneath my eyes and then like I said you get six eye brushes as as well so it was super important to have a nice big fluffy blending brush that goes right into that crease area oh, look at me getting makeup on it already <laughs> But yeah, this fits perfectly into that crease area and diffuses it nicely. It's so soft, guys, not pokey, scratchy at all. Then we have a wider blending brush, which would be perfect for the outer V, the lower lash line. If you want to press some glitter on, whatever you want to use it for anyway, it is nice and fluffy. You can also use it in the crease. Then you get a pencil brush, which you can use for the inner corner, the lower lash line. You can also use it for the outer V. Then we have a flat synthetic brush, which I personally love for applying shimmers on the lid perfect for the putty shimmers in my actual eyeshadow palette with revolution they would apply beautifully with this flat synthetic brush but also any shimmers would apply good with this so any shimmer you want to put all over the lid this would be perfect then there's a smaller flat synthetic brush which can be used for the inner corner lower lash line once again smudging out any liner would be good anything you really want to use a flat synthetic brush for and then last but not least we have an angled brush which of course can be used for liner liner gel liner eyebrows whatever you want to use an angled brush for so that is the full face set where you can do your whole face as well as your eyes and I'm just so in love and so proud of these and they retail for £19.99 so basically £20 and you will get a full face worth of brushes as well as the bag of course so you get the brushes and the bag for 20 quid super affordable in my opinion and then we have the amethyst crystal collection and this is the same exact brushes but it comes in a pinky purple color which you guys know I love and this is what the amethyst collection looks like how stunning are these brushes guys and of course this one has the darker uh, brush hairs but the same exact softness and also of course the same exact brush designs with the four face brushes and the six eye brushes so i'm not going to go through them again because i feel like i should start this video and this one also comes with the large holographic bag as well which if you can see the brushes fit in there but you can also fit your other makeup in there if you want to put it on the go you can put your blush in there bronzer whatever you want to put in there lipstick and then last but not least we have the eye set so these are smaller bags it does come with the bag as well but they're the smaller bags 
pads and then you just get the eye brushes in here but there are 10 eye brushes in here so this is the amethyst eye collection and in here you get super fluffy eye brushes so let me tell you quickly what you get in this set so four fluffy blending brushes which would be perfect for the crease the outer v any type of blending that you want to do the lower lash line and then you have two flat top brushes these would be perfect to add primer to the lid or even blend out a little bit of concealer underneath your eyes then you have two flat synthetic brushes one large and then one small so they will be perfect to add shimmers to the lid or to cut the crease these will be good brushes as well and then last but not least you get a pencil brush which you can do the inner corner with you can highlight your brow bone with and then you get an angled brush which you can do your brows with or your liner with so basically your whole complete eye can be done with this brush set so yeah guys those are my sets and these also come in the crystal clear color so the let me open it for you i'm sorry this intro is taking so long i will get to the makeup very very soon so yeah this is the crystal clear eye set 10 eye brushes the same brushes that i just showed you but they're in white hairs and also have the oh i nearly dropped it also have the crystal clear design so yeah and these brushes retail for £9.99 so £10 and you get 10 eye brushes and the uh bag as well so yeah i've tried to keep the price as low as i can for you guys while still keeping my business open <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go ahead and jump into the the makeup now and of course I'm going to be using all of my brushes sorry for all the talking but I'm sure you guys can understand my excitement like I've been waiting months to share this with you because I've been testing and it's been in production and then of course shipping took forever because of everything going on and it's just been I've been waiting to tell you about this secret and I'm so excited I really hope you guys love it like I've had tons of orders because these are available now on my website I put them up last night and I've had tons of orders already so thank you so much so I'm going to start with primer first the Barry M skin blurring elixir and i'm just gonna go ahead and prime my face so i absolutely love this primer i feel like it smooths my skin and also blurs my pores and it's like a dupe for the fasali skin tune blur so i'm gonna go in with foundation and i'm gonna use the revolution conceal and define i was tossing and turning between this and the l'oreal fresh wear foundation but the l'oreal foundation is actually 10.99 so it's 99p out of this budget but we're gonna go ahead with these because they're £9.99 i believe and i'm using the shade 13.5 but I'm gonna mix in a little bit of 12.5 as well because 13.5 is more my summer shade so I'm just gonna take a small dab of 12.5 and kind of mix that in and to blend that in I'm gonna take my amethyst collection the flat top foundation brush and just dab that right in so soft no scratchiness no poking it just feels amazing and I don't know if I mentioned, but they are cruelty free and vegan, made of synthetic brushes, synthetic bristles. They have stood the wash test as well. I've washed mine probably three times now and they're still going strong. I do recommend, you know, drying them upside down so that the water doesn't seep into the, you know, barrel and affect the glue. But that's just standard kind of brush health, I suppose. So yeah, that is the foundation. I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow now. And for eyeshadow, I've pulled out the Barry M. This is a new release, the Barry M Anna Lingus palette. I believe she's their head makeup artist and they've collaborated with her to create this palette and I looked it's £9.99 on Superdrug so really affordable and the shade selection is really really nice like I love these type of warm tone neutrals I think I'm going to do like a warm tone smoky eye today sounds like a plan but first I'm going to take the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and just prime my eyelids and I'm going to blend that in with the Amethyst brush that comes in the brush set the eye brush set and I absolutely love this for blending in my primers so I think the first shade I'm gonna go into is Coco, which is the dark brown shade. And I'm just taking that on my crystal clear Brent, Brent <laughs> blending brush. And that's going straight onto, ooh, look at that pigment. Straight onto the outer V, that is super pigmented, wow. Ooh, okay, I absolutely love the depth of that color. Sometimes browns can be a bit iffy. So yeah, that has blended out and diffused nicely, not patchy at all. I think this is the only new product that I'm using in this video. So yeah, I'm slightly giving it a mini review, but you can see just how well my brushes have performed. <laughs> no i'm joking you can see how well this shade has performed really nice i'm gonna go into date which is this kind of this shade is right up my street it's kind of like a burgundy purpley pinky color and i'm taking this on a smaller blending brush that comes in the crystal clear well it comes in both eye sets but this one is from crystal clear and i'm gonna put this into the inner hmm inner crease 
Ooh, this pigment. But I'm also going to blend it over the edge of that dark colour. Yeah, this is coming off like a pinky colour. So going back into my first brush and cocoa, I'm literally just going to lay that all over the lid. Once you guys get your brushes and feel the softness, make sure you leave me a review, okay? I don't have reviews on my website, but let your friends know about it. <laughs> I feel like I want to go with a different shade right up by the brow bone. Probably tan. I might go with tan because papaya is a little bit too bright for what I'm going for today. So I think I'm going to go for that neutral kind of skin tone colour. And for this, I'm going to take the wide fluffy brush just because I feel like it will get into that area really nicely. So taking a little bit of tan and I'm just going to diffuse the edges to get a nice soft skin tone blend on the edges of that burgundy. I think I need to use a little bit more pinky purple in this crease. Yeah, I'm loving this type of red soft glam moment. So I'm going to take a little bit of shimmer now. I'm going to go into... Hmm. So there's no gold in this palette. That's what's kind of missing from this. You get a champagne white colour, a peach, a bronze, a red, a green, a blue. You kind of get all shimmers except gold. So I think for this look, I might end up going with this colour on the inner corner just for something different. This shade is called Saucy and it's the red shimmer. And to apply this, I'm going to use my pencil brush and I'm just going to tuck that right onto the inner corner. Yeah, it's a bit reddish. I might need to top it with something else to brighten it up. A bit more fiery than I was going for. So I might take a dab of peach, which is the coral type of shimmer, and see what that does. Yeah, that brightens it up a bit more. Do you see the difference? This reminds me of the look that I did with my palette for, uh, what was it? I think it was in my Free Looks 1 palette video. It was like the matte maroon smoky eye with the red inner corner. I mean, I love this look, so I had to do it twice. <laughs> so yeah, this is the eye look I've achieved using four of the brushes out of the 10 of the eye set. So yeah, guys, I'm going to move on to concealer now. And for concealer, I've pulled out the L'Oreal More Than Concealer, which I absolutely love. It was a to toss up between e.l.f. camo concealer and this, but I feel like I use the e.l.f. concealer all the time. So I'm going to use this today. I'm just going to apply honey first. and then top it with a little bit of almond. So to blend that in, I'm gonna take my round top buffing brush from the Amethyst collection, and I'm literally just gonna dab that all underneath my eyes. I've mentioned this a few times, but I've liked blending in my concealer with a brush lately, just because I feel like it doesn't suck up all of my product, but also it keeps the concealer right where I need it, concentrated underneath my eyes. You can also use this brush to blend out cream contour, and that is the concealer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set it, and I'm gonna take my I Heart Revolution Chocolate Banana Powder. So to apply the powders, I either like to use the brush I use to blend out my concealer, or the angled brush that perfectly taps it underneath the eye as well and then of course to dust it all over your face you can take the large powder brush and just blend that all over i'm going to take the angled brush from the crystal clear set and i'm just going to take a small amount of powder and i'm just going to press that right underneath my eyes and set you see how it just tucks it right into that inner corner right there nice also dabbing that around my mouth you could also use this to reverse contour because it cuts that area really nicely you see I personally don't have a favorite drugstore all over face powder my current favorites are the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder and also the KVD uh, lock it foundation powder those are my go-to but for today's video I'm going to use the revolution matte base powder in p13 I mean I like this powder but it's not like it's quite heavy compared to my Charlotte Tilbury like now that I've tried Charlotte Tilbury everything just feels pretty heavy compared to that but anyways we're going to use this and this is p13 I I think I said that. So I'm going to go in with the large powder brush and dust this all over my face. Starting on the perimeters and then just dusting it all over. Moving 
moving on to bronzer now I'm gonna take my paradise glow palette because this is 10 pounds and in here you get highlighter blush bronzer and contour so I mean all in one for 10 pounds yes please so for bronzer I'm gonna take my angled brush from the amethyst collection and I'm gonna go into bronze goddess so this is gonna give you a really concentrated in the hollows of your cheek application but if you want something a bit more diffused you can definitely go in with the powder brush as well because this covers a larger um, area and you can get a nice diffused bronze but first I'm just going to go in with the angled brush and tuck that right into the hollows of my cheek oh look at that snatchery tapping that right into my cheekbone and also up against my forehead and then you can take one of the eye brushes that come in the full face set and you can use this to contour or bronze your nose if you haven't used it on your eyes if it's clean or you know if you just used it for a crease color you can still use it to contour your nose if you do that i know not everyone does contour on their nose or bronzer on their nose so for blush art, I'm going to take my large powder brush. This is just because I want a more diffused application. And this one is from the Crystal Clear set. I'm going to take a little bit of that and dab it right onto my cheeks and diffuse it out. So the one brush that I would say I don't really have is of course like a fan brush to do your highlighter. But you can definitely take one of your um, eyeshadow brushes and just put it onto the tops of your cheekbone because they are so big and fluffy they would definitely cover your highlighting areas but if you are someone that likes to highlight with a fan brush that is probably the one brush that I don't have so I think that's what I'm gonna do do I want to highlight today yeah I might as well so from my amethyst brush set I'm gonna take the wide fluffy blending brush I'm gonna take a little bit of highlight and I'm just gonna dust that onto the high points of my cheekbone right there and you see how it just covers that highlighting area perfectly. Oh, did I really forget to blend out that reverse contour? <laughs> Happens to the best of us, guys. Happens to the best of us. My neighbor's kids are outside screaming, so sorry if you can hear that. So I'm gonna take the same blending brush that I used to do my crease with that burgundy type of pinky shade, and I'm gonna use it to buff out underneath the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take the shade Date, which was that pinky magenta shade, and buff that underneath my lower, my lower lashes. Now we're gonna move on to lashes. So of course, these are my new styles in new packaging. We have eight styles all together, and I'm just gonna run you through all of the styles and then I'll put one on and you can see. So this is what they look like, my new babies. They're holographic and they're just looking so beautiful. They are faux mink, so they're cruelty-free, vegan, made of synthetic materials, but super, super fluffy, like the fluffiest, softy, softest, wispiest lashes you're ever gonna get for £6.99 girl yes £6.99 we don't do no £20 lashes around here so um <clears throat> anyway so I'm so annoyed but anyway these are Chloe look at Miss Chloe girl she's serving you wispy oh Chloe has left the chat. <laughs> She's separated, but definitely still gonna give you a very natural but glam effect. Then we have my bestseller, Ava is back. She's back and she's in new packaging, of course. Let me give you a close up because I'm so bad at describing things. So yeah, this is Ava and I hope you guys can see what I mean about the crisscross design near the band, but super wispy, really fluttery, really nice natural lashes. These would be perfect for every day in my opinion, but also can be worn on nights out. Quickly while I'm here, let me give you a close up of Chloe as well. So this is Chloe. Another bestseller, we have Girlies. Girlies is back and she's better. She's even more wispier, but still has the same type of uh, winged out effect on the outer edges. So you guys can see she's smaller on the inner corners and winged out. So she's gonna give that perfect cat eye fox eye effect then we have my new baby this is summer and she is serving you wispy fluttery realness she's separated but in between the separations she's got little mini lashes so she's still going to add volume to your lashes while you know of course being super glam and slightly dramatic but not overpowering on your eyes so yeah this is summer and she is a cutie definitely a must-have for summer and then we have louise and this is named after 
my mama you know i love my mom she loves when i name things after her and her name is so cute so this is louise and she is serving you once again wispy but also fluttery on the outer corner so she will give you that cat eye fox eye effect while still being super natural glam none of my lashes are like super overpowering they're still very lightweight on your eyes so if you're not someone that loves heavy lashes or thick weighty lashes these are perfect now we have the most dramatic bish out of the collection this is tony and she is serving you thickness girl she's thick <laughs> But still not too overpowering but she's definitely the most dramatic style that I offer because of the thickness near the band. She's definitely going to give you a thicker appearance on your lash while still being wispy at the ends. She's definitely what I would call a night out lash. This is probably a evening, dinner time, date night lash and I love her. So this is Tony. Now we have Miss Nicole honey. Now she is different to the others because she's shorter on the inner and outer corner but she has most of her drama in the center of the eye so if you like most of your lashes to be in the center of your eye that really kind of dull eyed effect this would be perfect because the inner and outer corner are not too dramatic not too winged out so yeah this is miss nicole now last but not least we also have another bestseller that is back in stock and this is mia she is your natural everyday wispy girl darling she is giving you wispy lightweight flat fluffy everyday type of lash and yeah this is my baby Mia so yeah guys these are my new lashes my new babies some of them are restocks because you guys love them so much I just had to bring them back and then some of them are new bad bees in my collection that I'm just so in love with I don't even know which one I want to use today because they're all special in their own way part of me is dying for a little bit of summer today I'm torn between summer and Chloe but I think I'm gonna go for summer because it is summer and she's looking so cute so we're gonna go for her so I'm gonna go ahead and apply these and I'll be back okay guys so here we have summer applied and how wispy and gorgeous is she I love the uh, separation in between each lash so it's still glam but not overpowering on the eyes it doesn't just look like you know straight lashes they're definitely wispy and fluttery so I hope you guys love her as much as I do so we're gonna move on to lips now I'm gonna start with glory lip liner I feel like the lip combo that I picked out is not really gonna go with my red toned eye because you know me I've picked out a peachy nude Okay, so I've picked out a dark lipstick, but I think I'm also gonna take it off and try a nude after, like a nudie pinky color, so you guys can see both options. But yeah, this is the Revolution, I believe the Satin Kiss in the shade TGIF, which is like a brownie, warm tone, chocolatey brown. I just wanna see and try it. Okay, this is nice. So yeah, this is it with the dark lip. What do you think? I think it looks very grown, very sultry and sophisticated, a little bit vampire-y, but still very cute. I don't know, I like it. So I have this lipstick by Sleek and it's called the Say It Loud Satin Lipstick in the shade My Neck, My Back. And it's kind of like a pinky, peachy color. So let's go ahead and try this. Hmm. That looks cute. That looks good. I like that combo. Should I top it with a gloss or leave it? I think I'm going to leave it because I always top it with a gloss. So let's just leave it looking. It's not matte. It's like a satin matte but um really comfortable lipstick so yeah okay guys so here we have the final look what do you think i am obsessed i love dark smoky eyes like this with a pop of color on the inner corner this lip combo is giving me a life and this base is flawless thanks to my brushes of course thanks to the other products as well but would you believe all of the products i used were under 10 pounds like you can definitely save some money out here and get a flawless look make sure you guys are checking out my lashes as well as my brushes and possibly more products coming soon on makeupbytammy.com thank you so much for all of your support all of the orders i've been packing up orders all morning and that was without you guys actually seeing my brushes in action so thank you for trusting and believing that i'm gonna give you quality every single time honey i'm just so happy that my brand is elevating and i can add new products and i can upgrade packaging like when i first started my brand i really wanted packaging like this but i just couldn't afford it so i ended up investing in, in the cheaper packaging but now that my brand has grown to the level that it has I can get the packaging 
that I've always wanted, the styles that I've always wanted, added makeup brushes, like, oh my god, this is 2015, Tammy is screaming right now because I always wanted to do this. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and shopmakeupbytammy.com and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye.